Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be a perfume favourites. I've been meaning to film this video for a very long time, but I just haven't had the chance. So today's the day I sit down and I tell you guys a little bit about my favourite perfumes and the kind of perfumes I really love. And yeah. Alright, so to begin with, I'm going to start with my Audi Arabian perfumes because there's a couple that I really want to talk about that I absolutely love and I think that I just need to talk about. So first of all, you guys already know, if you follow me on social media, on most of my social media, you already know about this, but I'm obsessed with Arabian Oud and they're a big worldwide uh, Arabian perfume company. Everybody knows about them. They have stores in, uh, in London and all over the world basically and I've shopped from their stores for ages. My absolute favourite perfume and the reason why I'm mentioning this first is because I've purchased this perfume about six times. I'm not joking. I think I've gone through so many bottles of this that I can't even remember. And it's the Desert Falcon perfume. This is a men's perfume, but I just absolutely love it. It's just such a deep and light and not too masculine perfume. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really nice. It's not very oudy, but it's more Arabi, but not very Oudi. I don't know how to explain it. You definitely have to have a sniff of this if you are if you're ever around Arabian Oud. Honestly, it's such a good perfume. I just wish they made a oil version of this because I find that the smell goes really quickly because it is not an oil based perfume. Next I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different and it's something I found on the internet recently and it's basically a website called Scent Trunk and I don't know about you guys but I'm the sort of person that I love trying out perfumes like different perfumes all the time like I always like to try something different even though I have my favorites that I love to stick to I still like to go out and try different things just in case I might find something new and different so this website what they do it's like a monthly subscription and they basically send you like perfumes just depending on what you like and they're from niche brands so they're like really unknown non mainstream brands that nobody knows about and you can just like try them out and see how you feel about them which I think is great. I found this website online randomly when I was looking for a way to find different perfumes and I like the idea of it not being mainstream because I'm not really a huge fan of mainstream perfumes even though a lot of the perfumes I'm going to show you today are slightly mainstream but um, I like to try out different things and I always like the smell rather than the brand if that makes any sense but anyway I signed up to the um, free trial and it's basically like four dollars or something for delivery and they give you like a free sample and this is what came in you when you sign up by the way you kind of tell them what perfumes you like and stuff so they had like a lot of selections that you can choose from from well-known perfumes even Arabian Oud perfumes which is amazing and anyway this uh, perfume came in and I love it. it actually reminds me of something by Tom Ford it really does or even Chanel, like the Audi smells by Tom Ford and Chanel. It's so lovely and it's such a strong smell, even though it's a really, it's a small sample, but you get a lot in this. I mean, it's just so bloody nice. I absolutely love it. And um, after I got this, I really liked it. So I decided to join the uh, subscription and basically every month they'll send you like a box of perfumes, um, samples, and this is what I got. These are the samples I got. It's, I think it's, it was $18 per month, which is pretty cheap when you put it to, to pounds. I think it's like around £10 per month. And um, you basically try different perfumes and I absolutely love it. So if you want, I'll put the link just in the description box so you guys can check it out. Um, and also they're cr uh, cruelty free and they give like a percentage of their money to charity, which I think is great. So definitely check them out. I absolutely, I'm, I literally... I. I, I'm obsessed with this and another thing I love I love the size of it and how I can just put it in my little handbag you know I hate it even these like you can just slot them in your little handbag and you don't have to like worry about having to have a whole big bag when you want to go out or something if you're going for dinner and you're holding a little pouch and you don't want something too big these are just perfect to drop into your bag and you have so many different selections so you never have to smell the time the same all the time. I absolutely love it. Um, I'll put the details below so you guys can check it out. It's just amazing. Next, I've got another perfume from Arabian Oud. And this is one I got like a couple months ago. I still have it and it's really nice. However, I feel like I have moods with this. Like sometimes I really like it. Sometimes I just don't want anywhere, don't want to be anywhere near it. This is called Rosewood. I've lost the lid because I've had it for quite a while now. And I'm a bit clumsy and the lid is quite big. So whatever. This is called Rosewood. I really, really love this. 
very strong, very strong, and it's a very uh, lasting smell, unlike uh, this one. Uh, I just wish they changed the formula of this. I already know that you need to change this, the formula of Desert Falcon, I beg you, because it's such a nice smell, but it doesn't last at all. However, this lasts a lot, and it's such a nice, very oldie, and it has this very honey-like, sweet smell with it. Like a proper oud and mixed with a sweet smell. I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's called rosewood. It might have something to do with rosewood. I have more mainstream perfumes than non oudy perfumes. And these are some of my favourite that I've chosen. Number one, this is the only mainstream perfume I have bought repeatedly every summer. Because I feel like there, I can't have a summer without this perfume. And this is the L'Ompatrice by um, D&G um, L'Ompatrice 3. I think they've just... I think they either have discontinued this or they don't sell it as much anymore. This is my favourite summer perfume. Oh, I got it in my mouth. So grapefruity. It smells like melon. It smells like fruits, like really nice fruits, like berries and grapefruit. Like the most thing I can smell is grapefruit. Another problem with this doesn't last very well. However, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. If you guys know any other perfume similar to this, let me know. Maybe something that lasts a bit longer and more of a perfume rather than an eau de toilette. Let me know because I really love this. I have C by Armani and I don't know if you can see the trend here, but all my perfumes are almost, I've almost run out of these perfumes, but um, C is also a really nice perfume. It's very full on though, very strong. So if you are more into light perfumes, I would recommend the L'Ompatrice by D&G because it's very light, it's very, it's not heavy. Like this is heavy, definitely heavy. This also is a bit fruity, but also it's got really heavy tones as well. Look at me trying to be all perfumey and stuff. It's really heavy, like that's all I can explain. It's heavy and fruity and flowery, but more on the fruity heavy side if that makes any sense. It's very unique, I really like it. However, also with this, I have moods. I sometimes like it, sometimes I just don't want to be anywhere near it. So that's another one of uh, that. Next, I have this perfume. Now, th there's a joke with this. So many people have come into my office and been like, oh, your, your table cleaner is so small and cute. Well, no, it's not a table cleaner. And then they'll try to spray it like this. I really wish the perfume was you were able to spray the perfume like this because that would have been so cool but no it's like this now this is the Machino Fresh Couture now when I first uh, saw this going around I didn't really you know whatever mainstream I don't really I'm not really into mainstream perfume like I'll smell them and stuff but I'm never really having to buy them like, unless I really like the smell um, so I got a sample of this on a paper do you know those sample papers and I put it in my purse and it was in there for like two weeks. Every time I opened my purse, I'd be like, wow, it smells so nice. And it literally stayed, the smell stayed there for weeks. So I was like, let me get it. I wanted the bigger size, but this is the biggest they had in stock in Debenhams at the time. It's a really nice, very sophisticated smell. It's very sophisticated and strong. Definitely strong. It lasts really well, which is something I really, really liked. Um, even though it's at Eau de Toilette, so, which is a real big thing for me I really like that so definitely I would recommend this if you like um, more mainstream smells because it's very mainstream it almost it, to be honest it even smells like something I've smelled before I don't think it's very unique personally I don't think it's the best perfume like I don't grab it all the time but um, it's 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 nice it's it's nice so this is my final perfume and this is actually a drugstore and a dupe if that makes any sense well let me tell you guys a backstory so i was really into the narciso Nar narciso rodriguez how do you pronounce his name narciso narciso anyway that one i'll put a picture of it here somewhere i was really into that perfume and i used to buy it all the time however i ran out of it after a while and i forgot about it and then i went into zara i was smelling some of the perfumes because someone told me that the zara perfumes are really nice and really cheap so i was like let me try them out and I found this gem, Rose, as you can see I've almost finished from this as well, like <laughs> somebody needs to get me a new perfume. This smells exactly the same. It smells exactly the same. The only difference, this doesn't last as long, but it smells exactly the same. This is 75ml, the other one, 30ml, is like 40 something pounds, this 75ml is like 15 or 10 pounds? I think it was 10 pounds or less. 
10 pounds or less or something around 15 maximum so bargain and smells amazing doesn't last as long but still smells amazing and it's so nice to have in your handbag so yeah that's pretty much it those are my favorite perfumes at the moment and perfumes I've accumulated over the year um, that I really love. If you have any suggestions of perfumes you think I'm going to like, drop the names in the comments below and I'll check them out because I love trying new perfumes all the time. There are, however, a couple perfumes that I really want to get my hands on that I still haven't got my hands on. Um, one of which is I would save the queen and I would save the king. I want both of them because I'm a king and a queen. Like, Also, I want the Versace gold one, the Audi one. I don't know, but it's got a gold packaging. Those are two perfumes that I really, really want right now. So I'm going to get my hands on them soon. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.